Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Felipe Luton Wash Processed Ecuador from Regalia Coffee. And there's the bag right there. And Regalia, based out of New York City, New York. And this is our February 2023 Coffee of the Month, as it was selected by you guys among four coffee roasters we had never reviewed before on this channel. And I'll be completely honest, this is the coffee I wanted to win that poll for a couple of reasons. The first of which being I'd heard so many positive things about this coffee roaster. And the second is that this is another Mejorado, Tipica Mejorada coffee. And I've been eager to review as many of these coffees with this variety as I can. So I'm definitely looking forward to discussing yet another one, as this right here is day 32. And recipe we went with for this coffee was our standard recipe, a 16 to 1 water to coffee ratio, brewed at 96 degrees Celsius, about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And I like this one best through the Chemex, which indicates a more medium grind. Now, roast profile for this one is a little interesting as going into it, I expected it to be a very light coffee. And I still feel like a lot of people would consider this to be on the lighter side of things, especially by American standards, as it is still lighter than most American coffees. However, it did have a slight bit more development than I think I expected going into it, as I expected it to be somewhat on par with Say, but I would say it's slightly more developed than a Say coffee, which still keeps it on the lighter side of things by most standards and metrics, but maybe a more moderately light coffee. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and start discussing this coffee. Day 14, first impression, and that was the first takeaway I had as it did come out a little bit more smoky than I think I had initially expected, and that could have been a number of factors. As it was my first time brewing this coffee, I did feel a lot of that Mejorado brown candy sweetness right from the onset. In addition to that, there was an interesting honeyed sweetness in the finish, so I couldn't help but feel a lot of potential sweetness within the cup. I was kind of tinkering with some things around this time as well, so that might have played a factor in the smoky quality to the cup. But I just did take note of that as I think I just kind of expected a super light cup of coffee and while it was still light, it wasn't quite as light to the standard I might have expected. Day 17, ran it through the Chemex and it was a much better day as it was a lot more in line with the expectations for the Mejorado with a fair bit of the brown candy sweetness yet again. And for those that have never had a Mejorado Tipica Mejorada coffee, if you experience this kind of brown candied sweetness right from the onset of this coffee, this is the main reason I've been a, such a huge fan of this variety is because that's something I feel in such significant abundance within this variety and it's why I continue to try to review as many of these coffees as I can. Even though there's no note on here that lists that as something you should expect within it. It's something I felt right from the start of this coffee and continued to feel throughout the duration of drinking it. In addition to that, there was a mild brightness to the cup, which was fitting for the listed pair, but also some nice sweet florality that was complementing the brightness as well. Much better day. Definitely enjoyed that second impression a bit more. Day 19. Ran it through the April Dripper, and I will say that the April Dripper did make this cup a little bit more interesting, and it's something I might have been curious about exploring a little further, as there was much more brightness in the cup all around. The sweetness felt slightly more subtle and lingering underneath, as it continued to have this very interesting floral component to it. And they do have a honey and vanilla note list on here, and I feel like that makes a lot of sense, and it's something we'll discuss a little further, especially pertaining to that florality. Day 21, the cup is opening up a bit as it still continues to remain slightly lingering in that sweetness sense, but there is a fair bit more of the florality present yet again, and it's something I continued to see growing with more time. Listed honey felt apt as there was a slight dark honey component to it with this additional zesty quality on a slightly more citric side of things, so a better cup on this day. I'm continuing to see improvement from it. And here on day 23, ran into the Chemex, and this was the best day I had experienced of this coffee by a significant margin, as it was skewing very strong in that Mejorado brown candy direction. A very sweet sense, but it was layered well with some complexity underneath, including the listed honey and vanilla that they had mentioned. As that vanilla does have a slight bitterness to it, but it's not something that's overly abundant or prominent. It's just much more on this floral side of things. With the fruit brightness, the most clear and pronounced it had been up to this point, and I think I've mentioned in previous videos that when it comes to pear, I don't really, pears don't really have a huge taste for me to begin with, but this one may have had a little bit more of it as it felt like a candied fruit sweetness and something I could see in line with maybe an apple, maybe a pear, as it just was complemented by that brightness too. Kind of the best direction I could articulate about this one. Day 25. 
the, continue, the cup continues trending in the right direction as the sweetness is the highest it's been to this point. It's still very much in line with the previous experiences for Mejorado coffees, and that's that brown candied sweetness. Yet again, fair bit of florality. These are components I really enjoy in coffee, and at this point, I was really enjoying the way that this coffee was structured as well. Just an overall increase in vibrancy on this day. So at this point, I wasn't necessarily sold on which brew method it was that I was enjoying more. Was this coffee just improving with time? And I think on day 27, I kind of made the decision to pick the Chemex for these reasons, and they were that there was a little bit more of that candied sweetness with a little less of the herbality, more of the fruit brightness as well on the back end, but it was really close. I do have to say that there was very little to differentiate between these two brew methods. If there was one, I would say that actually was a little bit more of an outlier. It was that earlier experience with the April dripper. But day 30, final notes, we have the cup continues to get better as at this day it feels uh, best right off of brew. And that's something interesting I did want to say about this coffee as well is I enjoyed it much more right after it's been brewed as opposed to letting it cool down as I felt there was a lot more of those candied aspects, uh, the warmer temperatures of this one. Can continue to see pear as there is a slight fruit brightness and it's the most caramelized that it had been. I think the best descriptor I have for this coffee in general is that it has that brown candied, but it's kind of caramelizing the honey like aspect because the honey was in pretty significant abundance a darker honey something i might not have been expecting going into this coffee all right let's go ahead and put up the tasting wheel so you can see what we we're getting and we have quite a few level fours so let's start with the cleanliness level four very standard very much what you would expect for a wash processed ecuadorian coffee not too much to say on that even by Mejorado standards, this is right in line with all of the expectations. So always expected it to reach that four, definitely right there in line with that. Finish, level four. This is the first of the higher side of level fours that I wanted to mention because this one does have a very kind of long lasting floral finish to it for me anyway, as I almost played around with the idea of putting in that level five. It does linger a fair bit, but not to maybe the extent of some overbearing coffees. Even then, I really enjoy the finish because it's a nice complement of sweetness as well as florality. Two things I really enjoy in coffee. Sweetness, level four. Yes, also on the higher side of that level four. This is a very sweet coffee, and it's maybe a little bit sweeter than I would have expected with the notes that they have listed on here. And that's why I say don't shop for coffees based off of flavor notes, but rather what you might expect from the combination of processing method, origin, and variety, because this one right here definitely was on the sweeter side of things. Uh, also toyed around with uh, putting this one at a level five, but I think I've just had some sweeter Mejorado coffees in general. Very nice still in that sense. Acidity, level four. Yes, it is bright, and I think that's much more in line with the notes that they have listed on here, that pear. It does have a fair bit of that fruit brightness to it, and that's kind of the best way I could attribute that note to this coffee. Florality, level four. Yes, this one was also on the higher side of things, and it was maybe more of a floral honey, but it was kind of a dark floral honey. In addition to that, the vanilla that they have listed on here, I wouldn't say that it was an overly defined aspect for me. If anything, the best way I could kind of direct that was in the very slight bitterness I was experiencing from the coffee, as it was a little bit more in line with something you might get from a vanilla extract than something additional. Citrus fruit, level four, and that's once again going to be attributed to the brightness as it did remind me a little bit more of this kind of zesty fruit component to it. Not something I could place my finger on in an overly defined sense. Pear, I felt like, okay, we'll just work with that. Feels apt. Again, it could have been this kind of candied pear, kind of candied apple sense. So level four works for me well on that. Caramel, level four. Yes, there is so much of that brown candy sweetness in this coffee right from the onset, and at times it may be overtaken by some other things in this cup, most distinctly thinking of that florality as well as that brightness. But even then, it's something that will always return with each sip, as you will experience it throughout the entirety of this coffee from time to time. And I could say it was candied in a couple of scents because not only did it have that brown candy, but it also felt like the florality was candied as well. So that's why that's at that level four. I feel like there was a significant amount of that in this cup. A couple of, oh, just one level three actually, and that's going to be the chocolate at level three. I feel like that's a lot more present at the warmer temperatures as it's cooled down here. I'm not experiencing as much of it, but even then it's a little bit more of that kind of floral chocolate aspect to the cup. So nothing too heavy in that sense. And I think the last thing worth discussing is the body at a level two, as that could be attributed to the fact that it was brewed with the Chemex when this tasting wheel was made. I would say it has a slight bit more body through the V60, which I know is a huge selling point to some people, but even then, maybe a little less body than I think I was expecting. But even then, I think that this is a pretty nice representation of what I was getting from this coffee. All right, so my overall thoughts and impressions of this coffee. Uh, the more I drank it, the more I really enjoyed it, as I think that this is a very well done and a very pretty cup of coffee in general. So I do want to give massive credit to Regalia because 
I have been trying to try more of these coffees from coffee roasters that aren't either Say or a place like Manhattan because those are the only experiences I've had with this variety and getting another coffee roaster to make one was actually a really enticing prospect and I was really impressed. So it goes to show that I just really love this variety pretty much no matter who's making it. But even then I don't wanna take any credit away from Regalia because in a sense, I feel like there were some unique aspects separate from this one than there have been from a lot of the say ones I've had. Most distinctly thinking of that uh, floral aspect because while the other ones have been floral, they've been a little bit more floral in this savory sense, more in line with like a hibiscus. But this one right here had a very distinct florality um, honey florality to it, which is also very different. So the type of person I would suggest this coffee to, I think the first direction I want to point somebody towards with this one is you should be in line with your sweeter coffees because this is the experience I continue to have with this sweeter in that candied sense, most distinctly that brown candied sense, because that's basically this variety in a nutshell. If that's what you're looking for, then that's something that will be a huge selling point to you because it's been a huge selling point to me. A lot of these coffees are maybe absent of the same sort of fruit sweetness that I typically enjoy. I always say I want four things, clarity, sweetness, fruitiness, and florality. And I've been willing to sacrifice the fruity aspects of these coffees because of just how much I'm enjoying the rest, most distinctly the sweetness. So that's the primary characteristic I wanna point somebody towards for these coffees. But then in addition to that, it was unique from other Mejorado coffees in the sense that it had a lot more of that floral honey aspect to it than I think I might've expected going into it. Maybe some others might've expected going into it, but I think that's just kind of the best direction I can point somebody towards for this one. If you by chance had an opportunity to try this one, I would definitely love to know your thoughts and impressions of it as well, as it was our February 2023 Coffee of the Month. If you guys are enjoying the content, give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And this right here has been a review of the Felipe Luzon Wash Processed Ecuador from Regalia Coffee. Thank you for watching.